Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the in-game news and you guys can see right behind me Aerith or Eris and Red 13 will be coming out this Friday but before we talk about them guys let's go right here uh, so uh, the event dungeon in mines is now back so uh, it's a Final Fantasy 12 event so if you guys haven't done this event in the past you guys will be able to do it. Uh, the currency is going to be Mot or Moth. Uh, you're going to be able to get some of them right here. Uh, pretty standard for a King Mog. This one is going to be a Minister Mog, if I'm not mistaken, right here. Uh, you'll be able to get the Zodiac Spear, the Zwill Crossblade, Warrior of, Lay, uh, Warrior of Love uh, Lore, I'm going to get it, and a Mage's Monograph. Uh, so the Zodiac Spear, if you guys don't have that one, that's a two-handed weapon. It's a Spear Attack 130. Uh, Adamant Vest, uh, that thing was actually really really good Especially if you're fighting a boss that does fire damage like the big robot uh, That thing is actually not that bad because the fire resistance plus 50 is really good Then you got the Zwoll Crust Blade uh, Attack 73, it's a dagger Enables Accelerate, chance of evading some physical attacks Then you get the Holy Rod Attack 10, Magic 53, MP plus 15%. It's a light elemental. So if you guys are newer to the game and you did not do this event in the past, you will now be able to do so. And uh, the bonus characters right here, Zargabath, Ash, and uh, Razzler, and Vaughn. So make sure you bring these characters to basically get increased bonus on your uh, technically currency for Mr. Minister Mog. Then we're going to move on to the next one. Memories of a... Uh, automaton you're gonna be able to get the bonus stages so on wednesday after maintenance uh you're gonna be able to is it wednesday yeah wednesday is 12 so yeah on wednesday uh these stages are gonna be accessible so you guys will be able to farm your crisps even more so make sure you do so and uh yeah these things are always good to get a little bit extra lapis and uh some crisp to get those characters awakenings Ability awakenings for your character, sorry. Then, wave battle event pops, pop hits, sorry. Uh, Katy Perry calibration event. It's going to be another one. You guys will be able to get a free Katy Perry. So, uh, I don't think it's nothing crazy. We're going to have to wait for the data mine exactly to see what she can do. But, uh, you know what? It's a free uh, 7 star, so you guys can make that. Her Super Trust Master is actually not that bad. Empowering Earrings, HP plus 20%, Spirit plus 20%, Enables Encouraging Aura. Use a random ability on one ally. Uh, I don't know what the abilities are. Maybe it's going to be something like, it would be really, really cool if she can randomly cast re-raise on some of your units. But I don't think it's going to be that. Maybe it's going to be a buff. Uh, attack, defense, magic, or spirit buff can be one of those that she's going to be casting randomly at the end of the turn on a certain unit. So that thing could be good. Her trust master reward, boost magic by 30% when equipped with an instrument, boost MP by 20% and decrease chance of being targeted, which is not that bad. She has triple black magic, which is pretty, pretty cool. Fortune, anyone's call, deal magic damage to all enemies and use the random abilities on all allies. So that thing could be pretty, pretty cool. We don't know yet uh, what her moves are, but uh, free 7 star, I'll take it. Then uh, one of her featured abilities, uh, cooldown ability. One use every 6 turns, deal magic damage to all enemies, restore HP and MP for caster, and enables triple black magic for 3 turns. Hmm. I see, I see. And the event boss is going to be the Frost Dragon, so fire elemental attacks are effective against the Dragon Koopo. Frost Dragon is also vulnerable to status reduction. Make sure to boost your party's ice resistance when uh, with equipment and abilities. Then you get those rare monsters. You're going to be able to get some of them and basically get a drop. These are going to be some of the event exclusive equipment you're going to be able to uh, make, I guess. Uh, Frosted Microphone, Attack 14, Magic 75, Spirit plus 30, Magic plus 20%, Immortal Flame, Katie only. Uh, Frosted Gown, Defense 18, Spirit 20, Magic 20, and HP 10%. Uh, boost Magic every turn. That's one of the things. Lo uh, Lucky. Lucky Clover Air Pin. Magic 12, Defense 12, Boost Spirit every turn. Uh, that's a hat. And her Frosted Stilettos. Defense 5, Spirit 5, and MP plus 30. Which is not that bad. So if you guys, again, if you're newer to this game, uh, having sometimes some free 7-star characters like that can be helpful uh, in the future. 
but uh, if you are you know a little bit more advanced in this game and you have a little a uh, lot of good stuff chances are you're not really gonna care about her but hey as a collectioner collectioner yeah whatever as a collectioner uh, or somebody who likes collecting things you will get that unit as a seven star because that could be pretty pretty cool but enough time wasted on her temple of ancients that's gonna be the final fantasy 7 event so the event dungeon is gonna be a king mog so obviously you guys will be able to get some rare summon tickets uh, the uh, the currency for this one is gonna be beat coupon so you're gonna be able to get lots of them uh, elite quest you're gonna get 500 lapis which is really really good yes please and some of the stuff that you're going to be able to get, the Hypno Crown, uh, Magic plus 20, Spirit plus 20, Nullify Sleep, it's a hat. Then there's the Gigas Armlet, Final Fantasy 7, and it's going to be a male only accessory, Attack plus 30 and Defense plus 30. So that's on the really strong side. Uh, again, if you're newer to the game or still a veteran player, you can still find some usage for this. That Defense plus 30 is actually really, really nice and that Attack 30 is really, really nice, especially because it's raw stats. And we're in that true double end era where people do a lot of damage. Uh, Technique of the Ancients also boost HP by 5% and water resistance by 10%. I would actually tell you guys to grab that because there's always usage for this if you're trying to get those little extra percentage on, uh, let's say, water resistance. So that thing could be actually not bad. Uh, you're going to get a chance to get a 5 star select summon ticket, which is really, really good. You're going to be able to find the Golden Bomb and uh, Kelsmelzer. One of those things. So Demon Killer is effective against the Golden Bog. And Bug Killer is effective against the Kells Mailslurs Koopa. So make sure you bring those. And right here you guys can see the bonus unit. Aerith, Red 13, Barrett and Katesit. So if you guys still have those characters. Whoop. If you guys have still those two characters. They're going to be used as a bonus unit. So yes, please make sure you bring those ones. Am I forgetting anything? No, obviously you're going to be able to get that special rainbow ticket. 5 star guaranteed ticket so make sure you do the event often to build up those points and I think it's at 15,000 points you will be given a, a ticket like that so make sure you do this am I forgetting anything else nope nothing here so uh, yeah guys if you're a Final Fantasy 7 fanboy or stuff like that well guess what Aerith or Eris is finally coming out we're gonna go over their stuff right here uh, they did say they got some global buffs but I'm not gonna go all over them uh, just basically because you know what they're still they could still change all right we're just gonna say it like that so let's go Aerith uh, she's a super super strong healer guys so if you guys don't have a good healer or don't have a seven star healer uh, she's gonna be top for a long time she's really really good her limit burst is super super strong and uh, it's no joke she basically cast three rays she re-raises everybody uh, she full lifes everybody she removes uh, attack, defense, magic, and spirit break. So she basically does everything in that limit burst. And that thing is really, really good. So let's go over Super Trust Master real fast. Eretz Joker. Spirit 60. It's an accessory. Boost dark resistance by 50%. Enables auto refresh. So restores MP every single turn. Planet Defender. Boosts spirit by 60% and boosts damage of certain abilities and magic. Pretty, pretty nice. Then she has a regular Trust Master reward. Planet Whisperer, boosts spirit by 50% and fills LB gauge every turn. And trust me, you want that LB gauge to be filled every single turn as much as possible. Miracle of Life, that's going to be one of her featured abilities. Uh, cast one time, auto revive and boost attack, defense, magic and spirit for all allies. So that's really, really nice. She's even able to buff your party in case you do need so. Uh, Earthly Healing. One use every 15 turns, fully restore HP, MP, and gradually restore HP and MP for all allies. We don't know for how many turns, but that looks like a really, really strong move, especially to be on a 15 turn cooldown. Overflowing life, remove stop, stop and charm, and automatically revive an ally one time. Another good thing of her kit, she's able to remove stop and charm from your party. So that's really, really strong. Red 13. We're going to go over this guy right now. So he's a strong physical attacker. Uh, he chains with... Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Let me go check fast fast right here on... Uh, I just want to see... I just want to make sure I said the right thing. I think he chains with Leela. But I just want to make sure. Because I forgot the name of the chaining family. 
which is gonna be right here. Uh, no, so basically it's not. It's, I think it's Stardust Ray. If if I'm not mistaken, it's Stardust Ray. So he's gonna be able to chain with Leela. Uh, so once you awaken or martial art Tojin combo plus two, she gets the Stardust uh, Ray chain family. So if I'm not mistaken, they do chain together. But we're gonna wait till the data mine is done. So I can really guarantee what I'm just saying right now. But he's a, he's a physical attacker. You guys can see with the type and the sword right here. Limited Moon. So his Trust Masters are actually really, really good. Uh, Super TMR. Limited Moon into Accessory. Attack 60. MP plus 30%. And enables Eye Tide. So basically boost your LB gauge fill rate. That thing is really, really good. Then his Trust, Ma uh, Trust Master reward. Seraph Calm. Attack 50. Enables Seto Story. Based boost your mp by 20 percent and boost your attack by 10 percent so that's another really really strong accessory for your physical attackers so he's really good uh especially for those tmrs and super tmrs if you if you're lucky enough to get eight of him i mean i don't know how but if you would be able to get eight of him well you got really really good super trust master we're gonna go over his featured abilities so global upgrade right here overall one use every five turn Boost attack and LB gauge fill rate for all allies and remove attack and defense reduction. Gradually restore MP and enables triple limit for two turns for self. So he's going to be able to triple cast some of his moves. Spirit of Seto. One use every four turns. Boost damage. Uh, wait. Damage one enemy and boost LB damage and damage of certain abilities. So he's going to be able to buff some of his abilities to do a little bit more damage. Then he gets Earth Wraith. Damage one enemy and power up with consecutive uses so yeah that's one thing we're not gonna go over barrett and kate sif just basically because they came before here and you guys know that this guy four star is trust master is really good but this guy man we're just gonna skip on her but her god damn she could do a lot of things and uh if, like i said if you guys don't have a good healer and you you're telling yourself should i pull or should i not pull go for it because she is totally worth it and she's Aerith from Final Fantasy VII, guys. Do I need to go any further with this? Hopefully not. Then we're going to go on the notices because we do have a lot of things. And it starts right here with the Vault of Hitting Treasures. So this thing is going to come back. So make sure you do this. It's going to start on Wednesday. And it's going to go all the way up to Thursday, the 27th of June. Or June 27th. Then we're going to get Half Energy, which is really, really good. If it loads. Can you load? Can you load? Well, we're going to go back. Maybe it's going to load now. And yeah, there you go. So half energy. Enjoy half energy cost for all of season one story quest during the campaign. So if you guys are still in season one, here's your chance to basically farm the story and go through the story as fast as possible because you guys are missing out on a lot of good stories in season two. Then we're going to get the third anniversary countdown. Last year we got the second uh, anniversary medals. This year we will get third anniversary medals and you guys will be able to exchange them for future stuff in uh, I think it's going to be in the minister mug. So uh, keep that in note. Uh, keep that in, yeah, keep that in note. And uh, you will be able to get stuff every single day. So guys, do make sure you log in every single day. Even if you're not going to be playing the game, just log in, get those rewards. Because there's some good stuff. There's 500 gil. It's not that much. But you know what? Uh, you can be hurt with gil. So you're going to take those. Trust coins. You get some lapis. 4 star guaranteed EX ticket. King middle of Manitors. More lapis. Expansion vouchers. Which are really, really good. Often. Trust coins. Lapis. Tickets. So just make sure you log in every single day, guys. Because this thing is could be really, really good. Then we get the premium. 10 plus 1 summon ticket. So players can uh, use... 1 premium 10 plus 1 summon ticket Final Fantasy 7 to do a special 4 star and above premium 10 plus 1 summon for a limited time. So uh, premium 10 plus 1 summon ticket can be obtained from the FF7 login bonus because we are going to be getting a FF7 login bonus on top of the third year anniversary countdown. Whew, we're going to be getting a lot of things. So right here, you guys can see on Wednesday after maintenance, the Final Fantasy 7 login bonus will start. We're going to get a 5 plus 1 ticket, EX ticket, 
some uh, B coupons, which you're going to be able to exchange at the King Mog. More EX tickets, some lapis, some coupon. So just make sure you log in every single day, guys, because things right here can be totally worth it. Then, introducing that classic ticket. So the more you guys go through the step-up banner, you're going to be able to get those classic 5-star tickets. And these ones will give you a 30% chance to get a featured unit. So you have to do one full lap. We're going to go right here. You have to do one full lap, which is right here. So one full lap. So step one, step two, and step four will give you a ticket. Then once you finish step five, you go back to step one. You do it one more time. You're going to get four of those little tickets. And those tickets, when you use them, they're going to give you a 30% chance to get whether Aerith or Red 13. But they're a guaranteed rainbow. You just have a 30% chance to get a featured on banner unit. So that's all it is. And it's a 25k step up, guys. So these step ups are getting pretty, pretty standards by now. Uh, am I finished? Am I forgetting something? Introducing the Fountain of Tickets. So a little bit like the Fountain of Lapis. This one is going to be a little bit different. To celebrate the third anniversary of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Global Version, a special bundle will be av available for a limited time. So uh, sales period starts on Thursday the 13th. For a limited time only, buy this bundle and get a 5-star guaranteed EX ticket instantly and 1 EX summon ticket every day when you log in for the next 30 days. Don't miss your chance to take advantage of this deal. Head uh, uh, to the bundle shop and tap on the fountain of tickets daily bundle to purchase. To, pur to purchase it. Alright, we also have a useful calendar to help you keep track of the tickets you'll receive so uh depending on the price this thing could actually be good and they also said right here that they fixed the bug with uh the half the discounted summon not working so that's gonna be one thing and also one thing that's not appearing right here but uh you know what i am gonna go here on uh the final fantasy 7 page uh the final fantasy youtube on their youtube and there's going to be a new boss in the Chamber of the Indignant, uh, the Lich. So you guys will be able to find the uh, fight the Lich. Now, right here, uh, I can't see if it's going to be live this Thursday or maybe next week after maintenance. But do know that there's a future fight coming out for uh, the Lich. And it's going to be in the Chamber of the Indignant. In indignant. Oh, I'll never be able to say that word correctly. But that's it for the news, guys. So let me know down below if you guys are going to be summoning for Erit. If you're excited that she's finally coming out with Red 13. Like I said, guys, they're really, really good units. So if you guys don't have a good healer, uh, she, she, she's a must. She's a must. She's really, really good. And even if you get one copy of her, well, you're going to be able to unit of choice ticket her in the future. So let me know down below if you guys are going to be summoning for her. And uh, yeah, if you're excited about that Final Fantasy and the third year anniversary, guys, is coming really, really close. So uh, yeah, things are about to get great in this game. So uh, let's keep our hopes up and uh, let's go. And uh, chances are I'm probably going to be summoning for Aerith because uh, Final Fantasy is uh, probably my fav favorite Final Fantasy and close to Final Fantasy 4. But yeah, I got to go. I got to go with these units because... Uh, you know, you got to bring Eret back. I'm going to stop there because I have nothing else to say. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. Uh, like I said in previous video, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, I am now there. I'm going to leave the link down below. If you want to follow me on Twitch, go for it. And for the rest, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.